Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from Lights LVR, and in this video I want to show you a little bit about how our CG car plates are extremely flexible even after we render, because we render in several different layers. So let's just jump right in. So I'm going to show you first, let's show you a few of the layers that we have here. So let me just turn these off first. So we have the environment layer, something we always, in, we always render separately, so this is the sky. We have a traffic layer, which is just our traffic. Uh, we have the, of course, the ma main part of our background, and we have mist. And I'm going to show you some of the cool things we can do with these. Um, but let's start with just our environment and our, our foreground here. So <clears throat> I think it, it's probably already pretty obvious. Uh, one of the things that we can do is we can grade our sky separately from our 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 foreground. So let's say we want to just make this sky gray and kind of match this this this. Uh, yeah, this rainy kind of feel. We can do that. We can go into our, our regular, our normal image. We can make it super saturated without affecting the sky whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the default values here. The other thing we can do is just replace the sky altogether. Um, so I've imported an HDRI. And you can see we have a whole new sky here. We could change this sky 15 different times very easily, very quickly. This is just a normal HDRI. didn't do anything to it. Um, so that's really, really cool for lots of reasons. Um, then we can take the car layer and we, let's say we want to change the saturation of these cars. Uh, we can definitely do that to do it, not do it on the, uh, let's do it on the right layer here. Uh, so let's go to traffic, do saturation, take that down, take that up. And there you go. We have some really quick things we can do to make our scene completely different.